Hey, sup everybody, BMS Lou here. Hope everyone's doing well. Wanted to put together a short video of the unboxing and quick look. And actually, we might just go ahead and do the uh, install and uh, look at the new Cox mini box. So Cox Cable is my local TV cable provider. They will be going to all digital over the next few months. So they are offering these mini boxes, which will be $1.99 per month. And uh, your first box actually is free for the first year. Like I said, $1.99 for each additional box per month. So let's go ahead and uh, look at these and see. I actually got three boxes. So you're just looking at two of them right here. So as you can see, you got all the instructions here. One, two, three, four, simple. Simple to look at. You got your uh, easy setup guide in here. About 27 pages worth of easy setup. Now when we went to visit the Cox Cable Rep today, they had mentioned that this box is a little bit different. The guide actually will only show you, as I back up the tripod, uh, the, the, uh, the next 24 hours uh, as some of their other cable boxes, you'll be able to look uh, like six or seven days ahead. Uh, with this box, you'll only be able to see uh, up to, I guess, 24 hours. So here's what you get in the box. You get the remote with some batteries, your step two HDMI cord, your coaxial. If you don't have an HDMI cord, you use this coaxial actually. Over here you got your wall plug in and the actual mini box itself. We'll go ahead and open this up. So here we go. See how small it is? Compared to say my normal size wallet, get an idea how small it is. And here's all your plugins on the back: HDMI, your wall plug-in, your uh, IRN, your channel setup for three or four, your two TV, and your cable from wall. That's pretty much it. So. It says warranty void if broken, but there is some plastic on here that you could actually rip off, which is kind of protecting the front of the box. But there you go. So let's go ahead and go to uh, install and see how it looks. Okay, so here we are in front of the TV. We got, as far as installation, seriously, sim simple. Eat, follow the instructions, super easy. So basically all I did as it's very dark down, down here, but here's the box. And so we hooked up the coaxial right here, coming from the wall, going into the box. Then I plugged in the HDMI cord, which is right here. Very hard to see. HDMI cord coming from my TV, going into the box. And then I plugged in the power cord here, plugged it into the charger back there and then they had mentioned that you'll see green once you plug it in you'll see a green dot which is where we are at now so very simple very easy one two three notes right here you'll see the yellow flashing or the green flashing start so we go on to the next process which will be turn on the TV and press and hold setup so we will go ahead and do that all right, so I got my TV remote, not the box remote, but I got the TV remote. So I'm gonna turn that on. So turn on your TV, press and hold setup until power blinks twice, then release. So here's the setup button right here. Press and hold until power blinks twice. Okay, press and release power. I did that. 
Press and hold down select until the device turns off. Uh, where is select? In the middle? Alright guys, so here I am. I have everything hooked up to the TV. We've got it all set up. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is take the remote. The remote will actually uh, turn on the TV. So we'll go ahead and hit the power button up top here. And I'll walk you guys through what the guide looks like. And if you needed to get into any of the settings, how you could do uh, any of those changes. But it is a very simple process. Just follow the simple instructions in the booklet that you get with your uh, Cox mini box. And uh, it all goes very, you know, very easy. I, have, of course, did my hookup with uh, the HDMI cord. If you don't have HDMI on your TV, again, you're going to have to go and get the, uh, use the coaxial cord. So we'll go ahead and take this remote. And I'm going to go ahead and just hit the guide button on here. So here is the look of the guide. Uh, very simple guide, nothing too crazy. Um, I don't believe if I mentioned or not, but this guide would only go up to about 24 hours. The customer service rep would, uh, had mentioned that some of the other boxes, you could go up to like six or seven days ahead to see what's coming up. Uh, this box will only go up to about 24 hours. Um, so that's one of the downfalls with it, but, uh, nonetheless, uh, it's still, you know, usable. And so, uh, if you hit the info button on the top right here, it will actually pull up the, uh, on screen display there and you could, uh, see some of the information about what you're watching. I'll go ahead and hit that again. If you hit it again, if you hit info twice, you'll actually get more information. So uh, very simple to pull that up. You can change how long that is on your screen. Uh, and the way that I found to go in and do that actually is hit guide. And instead of going forward, you can see I'm going forward. If you go back, back, and then back again, you have this little guide thing that comes up. You can go uh, into the guide, which is where we were just at. So here's where we are. So I'm gonna go backwards again with this back arrow hit back there. I'm going to go into settings and just show you a couple settings that you could do. There's parent controls. You can do some parent parental locks with it. Uh, closed captioning here. I realize it's kind of hard to see, but uh, a little washed out on the, on the uh, video here. Uh, just bear with me. That's what it says there. It's actually in yellow, but on the video, it looks like it's in white. So the next one down is language options. And there we are. We can change the language. Next one down is power on channel so when you turn the TV on you could have it turn on to a specific channel if you want I always have it just the last channel uh, the banner duration so here's the duration uh, I had the banner up or the guide up for the medium length time so actually if you want it up shorter you could do that or if you want it up considerably longer you could put it on long haven't really messed with it a lot yet so I'm going to play with medium see how long that stays up for me while I start using the TV more with this box and then audio and video, you could actually change some of the audio and video outputs and restore to defaults if you choose to do that. So I'm going to hit the exit button on the remote. So there's exit. And again, here's the guide. Real simple. One thing I do love about this guide is it's only showing the channels that I have. My previous cable box showed a ton of channels, even channels that I'm not subscribed to. So sometimes it was hard to figure out, shoot, shoot, do I have this channel or not? Uh, and so this only shows the channels that I do have access to and that I'm paying for, uh, which is awesome. I like to just see what I have. So um, very cool. I appreciate that in this box. Uh, other than that, it's a very simple uh, process to go through. Uh, I have the Samsung here. And... Um, there are codes that you can put in on the remote to actually have this work with your, uh, have your TV work. Actually, mine does because the power button obviously turns on and off the TV. I'll go ahead and turn it off again with the power button. So there it went off. 
So yeah, uh, so uh, anyway, that's just a quick look on how this uh, little Cox Mini Box goes and what it looks like. Uh, so, you know, any other subscribers out there with Cox Cable, uh, this may be something you want to look at uh, getting into if you want to be all digital. So um, yeah, I hope you found this information uh, a little bit helpful. If so, please uh, give me a thumbs up, like this video, or if you have any questions about the process that I went through, because I obviously didn't show everything and this video is already over 10 minutes. Uh, or close to 10 minutes, I'm guessing there, guesstimating my time, uh, then please leave me a comment below and I'll definitely try and answer that for you. So uh, my name is BMS Lou. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my videos. Posting a lot of videos on GoPro cameras, other electronics that I purchased for myself, uh, my new car, Subaru WRX, and um, just a whole bunch of stuff. Headphones, cell phones, smartphones, so anyway, thanks again. Everybody take care. I'll see you on the next video.